And here is the Writer's Almanac for Tuesday, the 1st of October, 2019. It's the anniversary of the first computed tomography scan, the CT scan, sometimes called a CAT scan for computed axial tomography. It was done on a patient on this date in 1971 at Atkinson Morley's Hospital in London, a woman who was suspected of having a tumor in her frontal lobe. The CT scan produces images of cross-sections or slices of the human body and enables doctors to examine soft tissues. Partial credit for the development of the CT scanner was due to the Beatles because their record label, EMI, earned so much money off the Beatles they had plenty of money to invest in the research of the CT's inventor, Sir Godfrey Hounsfield. It's the anniversary of the first ever World Series game, 1903, on this date. The Pittsburgh Pirates versus the Boston Americans. Pittsburgh won the first game 7-3, to but in the end, Boston won four games in a row to take the series five games to three. It's the birthday of the social historian Daniel Borstein, born in Atlanta, not a historian by training, studied law, and he didn't write about battles and political events so much as social and intellectual history and the daily experiences of ordinary people. His great hero was Edward Gibbon, author of The History of the Decline and Fall of the Roman Empire. Daniel Burston later became Librarian of Congress, and one of his first acts was to demand that the library's big bronze doors be left standing wide open. People said it would create a draft, and Mr. Burston said, great, that's just what we need. It's the birthday of Tim O'Brien, born Austin, Minnesota, 1946, went to McAllister College in St. Paul, graduated in 1968, and that summer he was served with a draft notice for the Army to go into the war in Vietnam. He was opposed to the war. He had taken part in protests, and before he had to report, he spent some time in northern Minnesota, up near the Canadian border, thinking about dodging the draft. He said, My conscience kept telling me not to go to Vietnam, but my whole upbringing told me that I had to. He served in the 23rd Infantry Division. A platoon from that division had carried out the My Lai Massacre just before he arrived in Vietnam. He did not find out about that until later. Came back home, went to graduate school at Harvard, went to work at the Washington Post, wrote a memoir in 1973, a novel called Northern Lights, 1975, about two brothers, one of whom went to Vietnam, the other one did not. And his most famous book came out in 1990, The Things They Carried, in which he wrote, War is hell, but that's not the half of it, because war is mystery and terror and adventure and courage and discovery and holiness and pity and despair and longing and love. War is nasty, war is fun, war is thrilling, war is drudgery, war makes you a man, war makes you dead. From The Things They Carried by Tim O'Brien. Here's a poem by Kim Stafford, Champion the Enemy's Need. Ask about your enemy's wounds and scars. Seek his hidden cause of trouble. Feed your enemy's children. Learn their word for home. Repair their well. Learn their sorrow's history. Trace their lineage of the good, ask them for a song, make tea, break bread. Kim Stafford's poem, Champion the Enemy's Need, from his collection, Wild Honey, Tough Salt, published by Red Hen Press and used by permission here on the Writer's Almanac. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch. 